Hi guys, welcome to well, well, what is the very first Sparksfly video, not podcast. So, this is my unit. If you haven't seen this on my other channel, I'll put a link below, but I've started doing stuff over the Christmas period. Uh, stud walls up, the lights are up, the electrics are still to be done tomorrow. So, what I do, well, what the plan is, is this going to be the studio area and podcast area eventually. So, in my head, stud wall up, this side, there are going to be sockets both sides. Uh, it's drilled to the floor, supported on the wall, but we need some structural uh, support for the top. So, brainwave, might be good, might be bad, ordered some scaffolding. So this is all just turned up. So scaffolding, I'm going to cut it down, and it's going to be braced from this side and then on top of the wall, screwed down on both ends to give some support. As and when I want to do the podcast, it'll have soundproofing and sheets put over it and down the walls. Hopefully that's going to work. Um, so it's just going to be a quick video of me putting the roof on and uh, showing something different on the channel. Uh, with stuff like this, I like to record, I like to do. Can't really put it on the main channel because it's not electrical related, so that's why we're here. So I've got a measurement that I need to get. It's 404 centimeters across the top. This is square on the floor into the wall, but it's bowing ever so slightly to the right. So we're gonna pin that back where it needs to be perfectly plumb. So uh, yeah, let's get a, get a mark up some tubes, put some tubes up and see how we get on. Uh, my idea with this is I'm going to just screw an L bracket to the wood, self taper it to the wall, uh, self taper it to the tube itself. Same thing on the masonry. It's not going to be the strongest thing in the world. I'm going to invest and try and find some clamps I can physically clamp down, but ideally today I'm just going to get some support up so I can then carry on doing the sockets and the wiring in this wall. Just a quick thing um, in the post. So my angle grinder, whatever it may be, has got like a universal metal blade in it that I can cut metal every now and then, which I've been doing a bit of conduit, but most of the time it burns its way through. Right, so that's my angle grinder that I normally use. And I thought, right, well, I'll get, a, I'll order myself Amazon a metal bit, a Bosch metal uh, blade, that'll do the job. And this turned up. So somehow I don't think that's going to fit. So I'm going to leave you guys here. I'm just going to nip to B&Q, grab a new blade and uh, nip back to my house, grab some stuff and I'll be back. B and Q trips done. I picked up these Bosch ones, metal. It was about eight quid. A little tin. Jobs are good. One. I can hand on heart. I don't think I've ever ever brought any blades for an angle grinder. This one was given to me by my dad that he's had it for years. Um, so yeah, I've measured out the tube. I'll stick it on the side. We'll get some angle grinding done. Make sure we're wearing some eye protection as well. That was loud, sparky. Hey, sparks fly. Obviously that's not the cleanest cut. It would have been a lot easier if I got a blade for my uh, chop saw over there, but <clears throat> hindsight is a magical thing. So as you can see behind me, if you've seen the video I've done on my other channel, uh, I've got a scissor lift for the day to do all the bay lights. So they're all done. So I might as well put it to good use. Obviously I could go and cut all these now. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to play with the scissor lift. So I'm going to put this in place, use the scissor lift, back and forth. Uh, we'll get some self tappers out, some angle brackets, and uh, drill this in place. Right. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this is going to be temporary for now. Uh, I'm going to get some proper clamps to clamp around the top. This is just to tie it in so I can do all the electrics on this side, like I said earlier. Uh, but I need this wall to be square, and obviously right now it's not square. So we're going to get that end tied into the brickwork first. I've made the measurements so this pole is square to the room. Tie that in, that will then allow me to pull this wall in, square it up, drill it through. First one's up, looking good. Happy, happy. Happy, 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 choppy. All I've done is just bent that bracket around a little bit and tied it in, but that's now secured the wall even with one. So I bought way too many poles and boards, which are all going to be used for different things. So later videos, I'm going to make a podcast table out of the wood and the metal. Same with the workbench, it's going to run down here and across, and also a um, well workbench, a wheelable workbench that I can wheel and put in here 
and Doostify. So there will be future videos, hence though I had so many. I did order too much stuff, but I like I said, when I was ordering it, when it was being shipped, I'd rather have too much than too little and then get to halfway through project and realize I can't finish it. So I've been there and done that. I'd rather pay a bit more, have too much, especially have some spare to play around with afterwards. So I'm gonna figure out how many of these I wanna do. Um, I might go, I might just do another three. I think that'll be fine. Another three, one off the wall, just before the trunking. Like you see, if you haven't seen the other videos, the trunk is all coming off. I'm redoing all the electrics, hence all the cables slap around everywhere. But I can't do all that until, well, now I've done the lights, I can start doing that. So I'm gonna order the tray tonight. Hopefully start that tomorrow. So, right, I'll crack on with this. Now we've got two up. I've just done a pull up on it, pull my back, that was good. Uh, I'm literally gonna measure the center of that like I do with my down lights, divided by three. That'll then give me two equal positions for a roof. For a roof. I'll tell you what, I might even be able to put boards on it and walk on top of this mezzanine. Probably shouldn't try that, to be honest. I keep looking at it, a few guys down the, down the uh, area have got mezzanines that they built. Cracking idea. One I looked at for two further down, they got a big office built on top, which at some point I might do, but for right now, I'm more than happy with this. It's just more money and more money. I have spent quite a lot at the moment on this place, but hopefully it's gonna be a good return and it's always something I wanted to do. And the lease is three years. If after three years it's just broke even or, you know, I've just made by, then I've done something in my life that I've always really, really wanted to. It's been a massive, um, dream of mine to get a place like this and to make it my own to do stuff. I have the knowledge and the, the skills to do all these things. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm super chuffed. YouTube has helped me do all this and it's, uh, I'm very, very grateful to like everyone that watches this stuff. So please, like you say, when you do comment, I read every single comment. I might not comment back or like it, but I promise you now I read every single comment. It's just sometimes difficult. The amount of stuff, the amount of things I do in the day or family time or whatever to comment back. And I do feel like sometimes I comment to one and not another. I don't want people to think that I'm favoring their comment over the other. So sometimes it's just easier if I don't have the time not to comment, but I do have a good read. So I appreciate it, thank you. I realised after being around here, I said I was going to use that and I completely forgot equally I would have messed around more with that than just going on the steps. So that's in now and that is absolutely solid. Just a few more screws in it to pin it back. So far, happy. It's uh, taking shape. It's a good size room. As you can see, the chop saw is big. So I'm able to do with this. I'm going to order some of the really thick uh, studio curtains, like really thick blankets, really massive ones that will drape over this or the other side of the hooks, I'm not quite sure yet, that will then soundproof this so we don't get the echo, which I've sort of got now. Uh, next thing I'm gonna do, see as though this is done, I've gotta cut one more socket out down there, which I was doing before the, I started videoing. Run some cables in here. We've got this side boarded. Um, equally with the lights, this bit, I'm gonna have a uh, PC down here, so I'm gonna edit some stuff if I need to, just double check it over. It's only an old computer. Uh, I'm gonna bring my nice new one here. Uh, so I'm tempted, tempted to run, put a light and feed here maybe at some point, but we'll see. So the sockets are just gonna travel in, drilled it through the top here, down through, through and through and through, and then sort it that way. So what I'm gonna do now, if you haven't seen the previous video, what I bought is high tough flex. So this is two point, uh, sorry, this is four mil. So I'm doing a four mil 32 amp radial circuit here. Uh, got the drum, got the cable runner around there, which has got the one mil on it. Uh, I've cut all the holes that I need to do. So two sockets, three sockets the other side, sorry. And there's gonna be uh, one, two, three here, 
and then there's going to be some on some tray here as and when I get to it. The fee comes down and bring it to this one and then back down to that one, then back up to this one, to this one, to this one, back down to that one, back up to this one, all the way back through and up. So we've got a few more holes to drill through here, uh, yeah, here and then through here and then uh, yeah I'll just do another run at the top so all that's going to be hidden behind the wall. Voila! So as you can see, we've got your, literally, it's just a ring coming in it really, even it's a radio circuit. So you've got looped in, across, 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 and then back out. Four mil, should fit quite comfortably uh, in the fast fit patrices. I'm going to put metal clad fronts on them. Uh, these are just linked over because as I want to put the board on, I know I'm going to cut, I'll just fish these out the wall, poke them through. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Thought about doing some, uh, some Copex. Oh, look, cheeky cheeky. So many bags. So this is one of the reasons I need a unit to keep all my copex, which you all uh, love and adore. Also I've had an idea before I go tonight. Obviously I'll put one bracket on this side, but equally, if I do that, I can just bend another one around and it's doubly secured either side. So genius, genius. Right, if you haven't seen the past video, I got a board already cut for size. So I'm gonna start sticking them on marking out on the floor with a bit of pencil exactly where I want the sockets within reason get this bit boarded and the plan is this is going to be painted or spray painted black just for effect then we're going to run across a piece of CLS and then I'm going to make a workbench slash office desk elbowed out with all the 13 foot scaffold boards I've brought adjustable legs my wheels for my table uh, loads and loads and loads of brackets and uh, yeah, so that should be the podcast table, three foot. That should be the podcast, uh, sorry, the worktop, worktop, workbench one. That's six foot, I think. I think it's six foot. And obviously that's 13 foot. So yeah, loving it. Right, let's get some of these boards on. I'll, uh, I'll do some camera magic. Ready? Boom. That literally took me four or five seconds. Boom. Whew. Getting cold in here now. Um, yeah, that's up. Tell me on four o'clock. Yeah, I got time. Um, I'm not going to put the sockets out because I don't want to because the blade in my multi tool is blunt and the other ones are at home in my alleyway. So I'm not going to do that yet. Uh, next thing, I'm just going to get a laser out and I'm going to level out what worktop height I want. So for a desk height, I'm probably going to go at what's the worktop? 920? Yeah, I'll probably get 920. Do a brace across there and then give me a chance to use my chop saw, chop some of these big planks down, figure out how we're going to connect them together. And then I'm tempted, tempted to try and miter them all in the corner to do a nice joint. But equally, I know what my miting skills are like, so bear with me. Right, that's so what I've done, batten all across, nice and level. So what we're going to get now is I'm not going to do miter it, sod that off, it's too much hard work. Um, three boards, straight across. I'm going to end it about here. So it's not too much in, uh, encroaching into the walking area. Walking area, just listen to me. Uh, measure this off and then what we'll do, we'll get three planks, cut them down to size, put them together, flip it over, CLS, flip it straight through, make our platform. Guess what we're off cut, we've got some legs, make some legs, they, uh, they're spinny up so they can adjust to height just for over, I don't know, aesthetics as much as you know, strength really. And uh, three boards should be enough. So there should be 220 wide each. The three of them should be just over worktop width. So it should be sorry, on the side then. Should be plenty, yeah. So I'll get them measured out. Uh, flick the camera on there so you can watch me cut some wood. the big reveal you can go let's see if this actually has worked it's just the tripod very badly and there you 
around the mat. There we go. Right. Two stays together, two stays together, two stays together. You're heavy. Yes. Right, so now what I need to do is measure off the height of that to the bottom of that with the feet of that, cut my pipes, combine it all. Yeah. Right, I just need to take a moment to appreciate the coincidences. The coincidences. Right, so we measured out 88 centimetres, so 880 mil from the top of the foot there on the spin to here, minus our four centimetres off of the thickness, 40 mil for the worktop. So I need, I need a bit of pipe that's 84 centimetres. Would you, all the offcuts were exactly the right length for my worktop. Winner! Right. That's down. That's there. That's there. Right, let's struggle. see that. Originally I had it here but it makes no sense to put it there because if I'm pushing up and there's weight on it it's just going to pull the screws out of this. At least with this it's supporting the whole weight. So it's not quite level yet. I'm going to get the other one, uh, bring it to this one here because there's no point being on the end and uh, get it leveled up. I'll tell you what, I'm well chuffed for that. It's level, it's square, bolt the feet into the floor. I'm just going to need to put some fixes in these because they were a bit well, they're not connected. Um, so I'll figure out what I've got to do that. I might just do what I did with the L brackets up there and just put one on behind and then clip it on. Same with that. That's level. I'm going to leave the video for today. We'll do this another at some point. I might just do two boards just so it only comes out a little bit to here. Or if not, do three. And then we'll cut one around to the front here, which will look quite nice as well. And it'll blend into the rack into a point. So yeah. Happy with that. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, because as I say, this is the first time I've ever actually made something that's not that's related other than tool bags and videos and whatnot. So, uh, if you'd like to give me a thumbs up, um, and I'll try and do more content, give me some ideas, but I'm going to be building the table, the, 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 the chair, the chair, oh, my build a chair. I'm going to have to now, that, that's that high. Uh, but building the podcast table, my bench, all that sort of stuff as well. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you soon.